Hi, I'm Jason Kopp, a software engineer at Partmaker Incorporated, a division of Dellcam PLC, the world's largest CAM software provider. Today I'm going to be speaking with you about version 2010, which is Partmaker's most ambitious release to date. Partmaker version 2010 features a number of enhancements, including the ability to perform five-axis simultaneous machining on a multi-axis and a Swiss type lathe, more powerful milling functionality, which includes high-speed machining, rest area machining, helical milling, and automated face milling and chamfering. It also includes more powerful grooving capabilities and enhanced thread whirling simulation faster toolpath creation techniques, improvements to solid-based programming, as well as a number of other enhancements. In this brief introduction, we'll touch on a number of these enhancements and how they'll make you more productive in programming your machines. Partmaker version 2010 features a number of more powerful milling strategies. Many of these strategies are based on cutting-edge machining algorithms originally developed for use in PowerMill, Dellcam's world-leading CAM software for the manufacture of complex shapes. Sharing the vast technology pool of its parent company, Dellcam, the largest CAM-centric developer in the industry, it has allowed the partmaker development team to deliver more advanced manufacturing technology to the marketplace faster. The improved milling strategies included in Partmaker version 2010 include strategies for high-speed machining, rest area machining, and helical milling. Additionally, Partmaker version 2010 includes automated strategies for face milling and the chamfering and rounding of edges. Partmaker version 2010 features an optional module to perform simultaneous 5-axis swarf milling on multi-axis lathes. Swarf machining is a technique that allows side cutting with an end mill while proceeding along the surface of a part such as the side walls of a tapered rib. Swarf machining can be used for profiling the edge of components using the side of a tool to remove material. The benefits of 5-axis simultaneous swarf machining over traditional 3-axis milling strategies include significantly reduced machining time and improved surface finish. Employing swarfing can allow parts to be machined complete in a single setup by allowing for more advanced debarring techniques, thus eliminating time-consuming and laborious additional finishing. The new swarfing functionality in Partmaker lets users take advantage of B-axis lays with 5-axis simultaneous milling functionality. Partmaker's 5-axis swarfing milling is powerful, yet easy to use, allowing the user to apply this complex machining technique in an intuitive manner. For all complex 5-axis machining strategies currently supported by PowerMill, including machining of parts such as impellers, as well as highly sophisticated 3-axis strategies, Partmaker version 2010 will feature the option for a direct interface to PowerMill. PowerMill toolpaths can be imported directly into Partmaker version 2010. These PowerMill toolpaths can be manipulated and synchronized on the Partmaker's process table, simulated and post-processed directly from the Partmaker working environment. This integrated solution of two market-leading technologies assures that users will never be limited to their ability to program and optimize parts in the most efficient and powerful way possible. Partmaker version 2010 includes an improved facility for automating the programming and simulation of thread whirling, which is a programming technique often used in the programming of bone screw threads as well as other specialty threads commonly found on threaded surgical implants. The popularity of thread whirling attachments on Swiss type lathes has grown substantially in the recent years because of the dual benefit this technique offers manufacturers making threaded parts. Specifically, thread whirling allows threaded products to be produced faster because this technique only requires a single pass, whereas traditional multi-pass threading routines require multiple passes to achieve the same result. Additionally, with the rigidity afforded by a sliding headstock Swiss lathe, thread whirling can also provide higher and more repeatable precision. Partmaker version 2010 includes specially developed algorithms and a user interface to automate the programming of this unique manufacturing technique. Additionally, Partmaker's 3D simulation fully simulates the machining with a thread rolling attachment, as those attachments can generally be quite large inside of the working envelope of a machine and thus provide the additional risk of collision during machining. Partmaker version 2010 includes more powerful grooving capability. Specifically, it features a new side-to-side -side general shape grooving routine. This new grooving strategy allows you to machine more complex geometries with a plunge grooving strategy. It is particularly helpful for Swiss users as it allows grooving of arbitrary shapes with minimal back and forth motion in and out of the guide bushing. 
Part Maker version 2010 includes a number of improvements to the tools database. It allows you to lock a tool once it has been created to prevent you from altering that tool later or creating problems to the existing part or other parts that you've programmed using that tool's database. In Part Maker version 2010, we've also added an edit tool dialog, which lets you edit the parameters of a given tool being used in a certain process quickly without the risk of altering other parts of your tool's database. Toolpath selection in Part Maker is much improved in Part Maker version 2010. We've added a two point chain feature, which lets you chain any continuous geometry, which is two mouse clicks. Additionally, toolpath selection has been made easier through the addition of hotspots, which show you exactly where you're clicking when defining a toolpath. Additionally, we've introduced horizontal and vertical constraints in 2D to help define toolpaths where geometry may not exist. Partmaker version 2010 features a number of improvements in the CAD module, including the addition of a polygon icon to automatically create any polygon shape quickly and easily. The CAD also features the ability to create an ellipse automatically, which is especially helpful for chamfering cross holes on the diameter of a part using cylindrical milling. We've also added a new offset icon to offset continuous geometry with just one mouse click. With Partmaker version 2010, you will be able to automatically download the most recent version of the multi-axis turning or Swiss post processors that you have licensed. Partmaker's applications department is constantly improving Partmaker industry leading multi-axis turning post processors. Using version 2010, you'll be able to check if an updated post processor for your machine is available automatically with just the click of a button. Partmaker version 2010 features a number of improvements to solid programming and 3D simulation. When programming on a solid, you can now use the layout toolbar with three icons, split screen, maximize solid view, and minimize solid view to quickly manipulate the view of your screen. Additionally, in Partmaker version 2010, you can now use a space ball to manipulate the view of your imported or simulated solid model. Partmaker version 2010 also features the ability to perform measurements directly on the imported model and simulated solid. I hope you enjoyed our presentation of Partmaker version 2010, and I hope you're as excited as we are for this fantastic release. For more information, please visit us today.